Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ Chen Design Channel. Today we would like to talk about is using Rhino 3D software to create this single surface. Uh, it is a continuous surface, so that allow you to edit and change the surface uh, to make a really organic form. Are you ready? Let's get started. The focus of our tutorial today is the surface. Uh, so we are not working uh, any part of the stone setting, but I will put the link right here below to show you um, this type of uh, stone setting and how you can arrange the prong and everything. So let's start it from fresh. Uh, we are going to um, bring up the sphere and for whatever size that you prefer to, uh, this is not going to be 3D print, just talking about the model. So any size that you like to work on it, it's, it's fine. Um, let's go ahead to rebuild this ball. Because the starfish has a five point, so I'm going to rebuild this one, um, let's say into 10, 10. So that way we were able to pull it into the five point. All right, and let's turn on the control point. Um, the very quickly first things we need to do is to decide it where it's going to come out something like this and uh, if you have a hard time to pick it up the point you can actually use the wireframe so you won't select uh, any part that you don't like so let me go back with this one so every other uh, control point you want to hold the shift and to select them like this way and very last one so once we have this we're going to use the uh, gumball of the scale tool to do the 3d scaling so very quickly i'll get something like that all right and then uh, with this you have something in the middle you might want them to come in a little bit there so I'm going to select all the bottom, uh, all the uh, one that, that I didn't select and kind of a dragging a little bit more. So you get something like that. Now, if you feel like this is way too pointed and you do want them to be a little bit rounder, we can do is we will rebuild this surface one more time. So instead of having only 10, I'd like to have 20 this time and what it does is it create two more control points on that uh, each side of the tip so right now we have this we can kind of move it back a little bit and because it's an organic form i actually like to move it individually so some of them will be more pointed and some of them will be uh, a little bit more rounded and you can do your own design here. Um, I'm just gonna quickly to do something look like this. And of course, right in the middle, for example, like this, you might want it to come in a little bit. On the opposite side, you wanna come in a little bit. So you can spend some time to play with it to make it more like a, a, the nature starfish. And that way, you know, it, it don't it won't look like computer made. Uh, it has a little bit more of the um, organic look. All right. So you go ahead and and doing all the things like this. Uh, maybe those two coming down a little bit. All right. So while you're tweaking, uh, let's take a look on side view. Now it look like this is, doesn't look like starfish. It look like some sort of tropical fruit. Uh, star fruit, uh, a star fruit. Um, so if you happen wanted to make a star fruit, this is the way to do it. Um, but back to our point, on the bottom of our starfish, it has to be flat, right? So I'm going to pick up everything on the bottom, on my front view, and I'm gonna use the command called set point, S E T P T. And you will have the uh, dialogue coming up uh, like this. We do want all the point aligned to the Z axis, which they has to look flat on the Z axis. So I'm going to uncheck X, uncheck Y, and make sure my front view right here 
is active and I click OK. So now everything is going to follow me, uh, follow my mouse. I'm just going to click on whatever I think they should be. All right. Same thing is going to happen at the top. So I'm going to select all those um, point at the top again. Doing the same command um, set point. So you have set at the Z. Now on the top, they want it to be flat too. So if we look at this, uh, kind of notice that they will be flat. Um, I do want to have this look really chunky on this design. So where on the side of the tip, I'm going to select all of them. And remember to holding the shift command. And then I'm going to use the gumball to scale it down to make those a little bit more pointed. All right. And then take a look on that and see if that is what you are looking for. In order to have the stone setting, um, like my tutorial there, um, uh, earlier simple there that you have the stone. And uh, actually, if I turn off this and the prong, you kind of see the stone is actually sitting into a lower position. You kind of cave in there and that's where my stone is going to set all right if you use the bowling different try to uh, create a channel and use the bowling different then you are, you have a really harsh edges and that's not what we are looking for so what i'm going to do one more time is i'm going to turn on my control point and this time I want to be carefully to select the things on the top so let's go to the top view I'm select this point, this point, and sometimes if you accidentally to click an entire surface, that's okay uh, because we can hold the control and deselect it. All right, so I'm gonna do one, uh, and then um, I will fast forward to for the rest of the four. Then I will hold the control to deselect anything under. It, so I won't select that. All you need to do is simply just pull down this. Um, gumball there so you will have you know a dip in there all right so right now i'm going to fast forward uh, to show you the faster way All right, so we get that done. Um, if you are going to have a stone or anything later on, you want a bowling in this area, that probably will be fine. But if you're gonna leave it like that, that may cause the problem when you try to uh, 3D print because it all coming into one point. So this is what I will suggest you turn on the control point one more time. Let's go to the top view and let's select all the, uh, the point in the middle and holding the control deselect the things on the bottom we want them to be the same level so let's do one more time set point s-e-t-p-t -T, on the command bar and we want to make sure the front view is active and then we want to go to set z right so i want to put it somewhere in between so it's like smooth it come out it doesn't it doesn't go like crazily come out so if you take a look on this at the render view you see this is a lot more smoother and then we can do the um the stone setting right there so now we have this done um but it looked very stiff it looked like hadi's logo um so we want to make it more natural looking so the command you're going to use is called mouse stone and then it will ask you to choose the uh, one you want to deform and then um, then it's the center of it so we click into the center now it's going to ask you to have two circle so let's say this is outside circle this is inside circle what it does is it can twist it um, deform it at more like a fan style but you don't want to get too crazy on that we just want them to twist just a little bit like this so it give it more of the organic form but if you do too much that will look really weird um, so 
then we will get something that's more natural looking instead of like a stiff starfish. You can continue to edit if you want to so it doesn't look too complicated but you can see now we have if we turn on the control point it's a lot more to edit okay um, to reduce the control point what you can do is you can rebuild this guy and then uh, try to reduce the com com um, control point back to uh, 20 and 10 so that way you can continue to edit into the way you like maybe this is too much of the turn so i want to turn on the control point and have this one it's kind of move it back a little bit so it, it's not like everybody turning almost the same angle or maybe this is too pointed so i want to move it back a little bit so that way you can get a really uh, organic um, looking starfish so that is the tutorial of today for uh, how to build a single surface for a starfish. I hope you like the video. Please like and comment uh, so I can share uh, with more people on my YouTube channel. Thank you and I will see you next Monday.